Hi students, in this video we will learn the proof of limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a as x tends to a is equal to n into a to the power n minus 1 from the chapter limits and derivatives of first PUC syllabus. This is a very important proof from examination point of view. In Karnataka PU board exam generally they give this proof for 2 or 3 marks. So it is very important for you to learn this. In NCERT textbook they have given the proof only for positive integer n. So in this video we will be proving only for positive integer n. This result holds good for any rational number. So there is a separate proof for positive integer. There is a separate proof for non-positive integers that is for 0 and for negative integers and n when it is of the form p by q where p and q are non-zero integers. So we are solving only for or we are learning the proof only for positive integers as NCERT textbook has only for positive integers. Now let us state the theorem. For any positive integer n and a is a non-zero real number, limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a as x tends to a is equal to n into a to the power n minus 1. So it is a positive integer in this case. Now you see that x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a. Look at this term. Now this is a polynomial division. You have a polynomial in the numerator and in the denominator. So this is a polynomial division. I will just show you the polynomial division of this term in case if you don't know. So we are dividing x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a. Now this is how many times x minus a gives us this x to the power n term. It is x to the power n minus 1 times, right? So x to the power n minus 1 times. This term will be x to the power n minus a into x to the power n minus 1, correct? Yes. Now when we subtract here, x to the power n minus x to the power n gets cancelled and this term becomes a positive term. So this will be a into x to the power n minus 1 minus a to the power n. Now let us continue the division. So how many times x minus a gives us this term, the first term? We have an a here. So a into x to the power n minus 1 is the term here and we have an x here. So it is a into x to the power n minus 2, right? That is our second term. Yes. So when we do this, when we multiply it with x, what we get is a into x to the power n minus 1. Now this term into minus a, that is minus a square x to the power n minus 2. Correct? Minus a square x to the power n minus 2. Again, let us subtract now here. When we subtract, this term gets cancelled and this term becomes positive. So a square into x to the power n minus 2 minus a power n. That is what is our term now. Now again, since this is a polynomial, we keep getting terms and this continues. What will the next term here be? We have a square here. So it is a square into x to the power n minus 2 here and the term will be x to the power n minus 3. Correct? So it is a square into x to the power n minus 3. When you multiply it with x, we get this term a square into x to the power n minus 2 minus a cube into x to the power n minus 3. Right? Yes, this and this gets cancelled. The next term would be a cube into x to the power n minus 3 minus a power n. And this goes on. It's a polynomial. This goes on. Since we don't know what is the value of n, this term will go on. Can you just guess what would be the next term? It is a cube x to the power n minus 4 and so on. This will go till a to the power n minus 1 and x to the power n minus n. x to the power n minus n is 0. x to the power 0 is one. So this will go up till a to the power n minus 1. This is clear. So we can write x to the power n minus a to the power n as product of x minus a and x to the power n minus 1 plus this whole term. Okay. x to the power n minus a to the power n can be written as product of these two terms. Do you agree? We will be using this in the proof. Okay, now n is a positive integer. We are considering x to the power n minus a to the power n. That is equal to x minus a into x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 into a plus x to the power n minus 3 into a square and so on. Okay, this will be the last but one term x into a to the power n minus 2. Now, dividing throughout by x minus a and we will take the limit as x tends to a on both sides. 
So limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a as x tends to a is equal to limit of this term x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power n minus 2 into whole this term as x tends to a. Now this is a polynomial. There is nothing much for us to do. It doesn't take any indeterminate form. So it is direct application of the limit and that is substituting for x as a. So it is a to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power n minus 2 into a plus a to the power n minus 3 into a square and so on. So this will be a to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power n minus 1. This basis are same so we are adding the indices. So this whole term will be a to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power n minus 1 plus a to the power n minus 1 n terms and this is n into a to the power n minus 1. So this is the proof for positive integers. Our final result is limit of x to the power n minus a to the power n by x minus a as x tends to a is equal to n into a to the power n minus 1. We have proved only for positive integer n but this standard form holds good for any rational number. Keep this in mind when you apply this standard form. If you have any doubt please do let me know in the comment section. I shall try to help you out.